Double heat sinks are known throughout the galaxy to be the best money can buy for cooling. However, they are fairly rare and they will just show up towards the end of the game in higher zones. But you can actually get your hands on double heat sinks fairly easy and early on in the campaign if you know this little trick, guys. Greetings, Mac Warriors. My name is TTB. Good to see all of you today. Now, with a Mac like this here, a Stalker full on LRM build, you're producing a lot of heat and you want to cool that, but most of the times you won't be able to do that properly with just single heat sinks. You do have the space left in your Mac for cooling. For example, on this Stalker, if we go to the loadout, as you can see, we've got lots of space left that we can fill with double heat sinks, but there are just none to be had and there are none in the market anywhere. But I'm going to show you guys right now how to remedy that. Now, you're going to be traveling towards the easier sections of the star map, which generally means Deviant space. Um, you can find this also somewhere else, but you gotta be very, very lucky. I found most of them over here in this area in Deviant space. You're going to be looking for industrial hubs with this little icon here. That means Hero Mech on Market. And you're looking for one specific hero mech, one hero mech alone, and that is the Urban Mech K9. So let's have a look and see what kind of mech we have here for sale. And we are in luck, ladies and gentlemen. There are two Urban Mech heroes in the game. There's the Street Cleaner and the K9. The Street Cleaner is completely useless. Do not buy the Street Cleaner, especially not for this case. But the K9, the K9 is a fine little loot pinata. Look at the build, guys. We've got two small lasers, we've got a large laser, and an Ultra AC5 Lost Tech weapon. But that's not the reason why we purchased this mech. Right now, I have 25% off all purchases because I am a House Deviant hero that allows me to buy this urban mech for the steal of 2.3 million C bills. So, we bought the Urbi. So what is the big deal, guys? What What is going on, TTB? You told us you would show us how to get double heat sinks, not how to buy urban mechs. Well, here is the urban mech K9 in our little mech bay. Let's have a look at the loadout. TTB, there are no double heat sinks here. Well, let's look at the details. Boom. This is your holy double heat sinks loot pinata. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double heat sinks in this light mech, plus the Ultra AC5. So now we just got eight double heat sinks. We can just literally strip the whole mech. Uh, you can do this in the mech lab and it's gonna take 27 days for me here, or I'm going to show you another little trick that is also very neat. You just take the Urbi K9 that we just bought, you put it into mech cold storage, a boom, and all of the weapons are gone, all of the items have been stripped. We put it back into our active hangar. As you can see, it has no more weapons on there. It's completely stripped. Just to make sure, I'm gonna go to edit loadout. And there you see it, it's empty. And now we can go ahead and just resell this Urbi K9 instantly for the price of 630K and it's gone. So what did we pay? Effectively around 1.6 million C bills for a total of eight double heat sinks or around 200k per double heat sink, which is considerably more than you would pay if you find them in a store later on in the game. But that is not the problem, guys. The problem is you want to have them now. So to sum up, go to the star map, start traveling around in Deviant space, look for the icons for Hero Max, the little skull icon, and then go there and hope that you can get your hands on an Urban Mech K9. If you see the Urban Mech K9 pop up anywhere, instantly buy it, remove the double heat sinks, and then just sell it again. You will be very, very happy to have those double heat sinks in your mechs and keep them in the torsos or in the engines so they don't get lost instantly. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and of course, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, consider becoming a member of the TTB Army over on Patreon. Link in the description below. So long, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.